Out of there, fellow YouTubers, Facebook friends and family. I am just doing a unboxing video of the flashlight I bought on Amazon. And as you see here, it's got this dangerous goods symbol on it because of the batteries that it comes with. It's, uh, you cannot ship it to a P.O. box. So I had to, I'm actually in Edmonton at our, at our house in Edmonton here in Twilger and um and uh yeah so um so we're at our Twilger house and it came just arrived I just saw the 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 guy drive away he left it on the doorstep so we're gonna do an unboxing video and uh I'm doing this on my own I don't have I don't have a, a cameraman with me my cameraman is back in Alder Flats. So comes. So this is this. Uh, uh, this what E8 rechargeable flashlight by Everbeam, and uh, it comes with a warranty. So before that blows away, let's pull this out. So this is a tactical flashlight that I bought for the shotguns. This is the second one I bought. So there's the box that it comes in. Everbeam, Everbeam E8. So there's really not much to the packaging. Just a picture of the, so this is the E8. It's, it's supposed to be a tactical flashlight. It is advertised on Amazon as a tactical flashlight. So, so there, okay, so there's the battery. That's a honking battery. It's, I don't normally buy flashlights like this. Um, I don't normally buy flashlights that require special. Here's the recharger. So it's a rechargeable battery. Comes with a lanyard. Here, get, uh, comes with a lanyard. And that goes on the end of the flashlight there. Probably not going to, I'm not going to use that because. So this is the charger. This kind of pops in here. And it plugs into a USB port. And it does not come with the plug. You have to buy. That's all it comes with is just this. So, um. If you don't already have, it would, I mean, all cell phone chargers have the USB, so you'd have to use your cell phone charger. The battery, the battery, I assume, positive that way. So battery fits in there like that. It comes pre-charged, so it's already charged. So that... So there's the flashlight. It's got a red button on the back. There's the LED. It's a pretty powerful flashlight. It says 1100 lumens. It says It says 1100 lumens. So this you just unscrew unscrew that. And there's, that's the switch. Battery goes in. And uh, there it's working. I don't really know if that's a thousand lumens. It advertised as a thousand lumens. It's got uh, three, four settings. One, two is low. Three is uh, pulse, and four is SOS. And I've already got a delay in my camera, damn it. So, and then off. On, off, and uh, th three settings. 
there's the flashlight it looks like that I will show you what it looks like in the next video of what it looks like how I've attached it to my shotgun I have a home defense shotgun and uh, those Hornady rapid safe wall Hornady rapid safe wall uh, people that have watched that video um, um, I did manage to buy the 20 inch I managed to buy the 20 inch shotgun so I'll do another video of the rapid safe I'll do like a two-year update rapid wall safe update and uh, there are some details that I'd like to share about that um, but I I did finally find a flashlight I will I will do another the next video I do on this uh, flashlight will be the test the test with the shotgun um, to show you that it is actually shockproof I mean I was using a 12 gauge I used a 12 gauge uh, shotgun it was mounted to a 12 gauge it was mounted to the to the 88 Ma Maverick 88 security uh, 18 and a half inch barrel in a in um, a 12 gauge and I was using um, I was just using bird shot so nothing super heavy but uh, what I should do is use some buckshot and and um, do it do a a test with the buckshot but uh, right now uh, this flashlight I have mounted it to uh, a Maverick 88 security 12 gauge uh, pump action shotgun and I have put probably I probably put about 20 rounds through it so far and the flashlight still works so 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 far so good so uh, I'll, the next video I do on this flashlight will be uh, I'll probably do it in a couple months when I've put a few more rounds through it and tested this one as well. So this is the second one I bought. I was really impressed with the first one. Um, I just wish that button wasn't red. I wish that was black. Oh! So, uh, if you look at here, you see that green see that green ring that glows in the dark so after you shut the flashlight off that actually glows in the dark so if you shut the flashlight off and drop it in the dark you can still find it in the dark after you've that little green see that green that that's glow in the dark that green ring glows in the dark so if you drop the flashlight in uh, in the in say in the grass at, in, at night you can you can find it you can still find it so i just thought um that's that's not advertised on the on the on the uh facebook or sorry it's not advertised on the amazon on uh, amazon anyways eight minute video unboxing video of the everbeam e8 rechargeable flashlight and um uh I don't know how hard it is to find I haven't had to go look for another battery yet but um, I would I, I'm, I'm, I'm really I'm really not I'm, I, I don't normally buy flashlights that require oddball sized batteries I mean it's just you'd, you'd probably want to buy a spare battery just in case this one conks out um, I haven't to, I haven't even had to you know what I've used the other flashlight so little I haven't even I haven't even done um, I haven't even the the battery is still good so I, the battery uh, hasn't even drained yet uh, but I haven't really used it that much so um, anyways uh, there's my nine minute video ten minute video on uh, the unboxing of the e8 rechargeable flashlight by everbeam tactical it is a tactical flashlight as far as i'm concerned because i mounted it to a shotgun and it actually works so anyways thanks for watching and uh like and subscribe and uh, check out my other videos um, um and uh stay tuned for more videos i will i will do another video on this flashlight in this tactical flashlight after i've put more rounds through the shotgun anyways Thank you for watching. Cheers. Bye for now.